Well, friends, today we're doing a fragrance rotation video for the week ending the 6th of March, 2022. Marvellous. Now, this has been an unusual week in that the week started in autumn and winter and the week ended in spring and summer. And the weather has the weather has shown it and is showing it today. It's very nice outside. Um, so on Monday, Monday was the only day which was the which was the uh, last day of autumn winter for me. So the only day I had to wear a spring and autumn winter fragrance, and I went with my classic. And that is Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. I won't be able to wear this again until September. And how, how I shall miss it. It's a fantastic fragrance. The closest thing I have to a an autumn winter signature fragrance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whilst I cough. Um, love it. The tobacco in this is very tobacco-y. The oud isn't very oudy. It's more of just a vibe. Um, it's like a dark sort of wood thing. One of the last great Tom Ford fragrances, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. Like, um, but yes, it lasts all day on me. Projects lovely. It's like this. It's the um, it's the air to amber absolute. Absolutely fantastic fragrance. Hmm. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. Anyhow, that was Monday and Tobacco Oud. The last day of autumn and winter 2022. So on Tuesday, obviously on Tuesday, March the 1st, I wore the fragrance I wear every March the 1st, regardless of the weather. And that is... Green Irish Tweed, the big beast. Um, love this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Salty, green, violet leaf. Like, has that, like, dewy sort of quality. The, pro the only problem with this is that you just cannot see the level at all. It is completely opaque. Um, this is a... 2016 bottle happily I absolutely love it you will see some creeds I've got quite a few creeds actually um, don't pay retail for them or oh, I didn't pay retail for them I should say uh, you used to not be able, you used to be able to get them really cheap like I think I paid like 140 quid for this from Natino like years ago Um and now you, you you're not you're not getting it for that kind of price now. <clears throat> Excuse me, but yes, this is the scent I wear every March the first to signify the fact that spring and summer is here. Absolutely fantastic, it is. It's a classic. Everybody talks about it, but everybody talks about it for a good reason. You could dress this up. You can dress it down. It's harder to dress it down than dress it up, but there we are. Wednesday. Wednesday, I went with another staple for me, and especially in spring. This is a really good fragrance for spring. And this is Amber Pour Homme by Prada. This is fantastic. This smells like really upscale soap. This is what Prada do really well. The soapy sort of, the soapy sort of vibe. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got cough. Um, it's got the the label with the um the notes on, but they're all in French, unfortunately. But resin de labdanum de France, patchouli leaves, cardamom from Guatemala, and saffron. Very nice, very soapy. What it does is right; it does a very similar thing to another one of the fragrances that's in this list at the end, 
that some soapy fragrances can do. I feel as though they create a very thin barrier between you and the between you and like the outside air, you know? Like they leave like a re like a residue, like moisturizer sort of thing do does that. Creates like a barrier between you and the outside air so that you like you can go out into the cold, but you still feel like warm, you know? Very, very interesting how it does that. Um this is fantastic. It has that creamy, fresh sort of vibe. You don't get that very much with like newer fragrances. This is, a, I forget when this was brought out, but it's been out a while now. Um, this is another classic. Um, most of these, are, in fact, all of these fragrances are like classics. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're all like really old, but at one point or another, like all of these have been very highly spoken, maybe with the, the exception of the next fragrance. But at one point or another, all these fragrances have been like a darling of the fragrance community. I didn't notice that. But anyway, this is fantastic. Do believe the hype. A uh, very good fragrance you can get for a very good price. Don't know if you can tell, but the juice is just a little purpley sort of vibe. Nice. Anyhow. Next. Next we have another classic, and I really enjoyed wearing this. Zar by Van Cleef and Arpels. This is terrific. This is an oak moss bomb. It's got a rather large fragrance note listing. But it for me, it's just a massive oak moss bomb. It's obviously got like other facets to it as well, but it's fresh. It's ah, it's it's all it, it it goes towards being a little metallic, which oak moss can do, and I don't like metallic notes, but it goes towards that. But it it never actually gets metallic. You know, it's not like Platinum Mega East, which is like like putting your tongue on a battery. Um, it's green. It can be green. It's fresh. Um, you could probably wear this in the autumn and the winter as well, but I prefer to wear this in spring. This is a big spring fragrance for me. Um, absolutely love the bottle. Love the fragrance. Um, glad I've got it because it's rare as hen's teeth. Now you should pick that up for like forty quid. It's like you're looking at paying five times that now. Next, on Friday, I decided to go for something a little different from what I've been wearing. And I went with a woody fragrance, and this is Sandalo by Lorenzo Villarese Firenze. This is in the older style bottles. You can still get them. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. I love this stuff. It's less of a creamy sandalwood and more of a woody sandalwood. Um, it's got, it's got that, it reminds me a little of Gianfranco Ferre Pontaccio 21. It's got that sort of, it, it hasn't got wood chip in it, but it's got like cut and finished wood, you know? Like, this is more of like a piece of furniture made from sandalwood than burning sandalwood or smaller pieces of sandalwood, you know? It's got finished sandalwood to it. Very woody for a sandalwood fragrance. Like I say, um, Samsara and Bois d'Azile have got that creamy aspect. They really focus on that. This focuses much more on the woody aspect. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. And I really like it. Really good. You will see this again. Yesterday. Yesterday, I decided to bust out a big boy. And that is a bit of a tonka. It's, um, it's huge. This is a fantastic fragrance. One of the best things about having like large bottles with sprayers is that you can just spray them on liberally. You just apply them everywhere, you know. Um, just apply them to fuck. You don't have to worry about anything. And I did that. 
must have put on about five, eight sprays of this yesterday. Absolutely fantastic. You can smell it all day. One of Jean-Claude Lena's best. This is what he's best at, in my opinion. Very simple. <clears throat> Very well made. Two notes bolted together. This is what Jean-Claude Lena's best at. Fantastic fragrance. This is another one you should believe the hype on as well. That was another hyped, hyped fragrance. And that brings us to today. And I've gone back for another soapy fragrance. And the first wearing this year of Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. This is a slightly older 90s bottle. Still really good. I've got older, but I've got like really old bottles of it. Um, I really love this stuff. It's fantastic. It's soapy, clean, creamy, warm, fresh. It does a lot of different things and it does them well. Uh, newer bottles, not the best, I won't lie to you. But this one's really good. I really like it. And this is my scent of the day. Fabulous. So I will put all of these out. And get a little portrait of them and I shall say goodbye. So, ah, this is a big, it's an awkward bottle to get in. It's an awkward bottle to spray that is the Prada because of, yeah, you can see straight through it to the sartorial behind. Look at that. So, this week, tobacco wood, green Irish tweed. Prada Ramba Pour Homme, Zar by Van Cleef and Arpels, Sandalo by Viorese, Better the Tonka, and Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.